Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome back to another Wild Eye Wednesday. Now today, we're going to be taking a look at Suicide Club. Before I get into my review, I wanted to take the time to thank Wild Eye for sending me this copy to review for you guys. They have an awesome company. They are definitely where it's at with independent horror. I'm going to put the links to their YouTube channel and their official website in the description box below. Definitely check them out. Now, Suicide Club is a 2017 film, which runs for approximately 92 minutes, and is written and directed by Maximilian von Veer. Now, he was responsible for The Kaiser Field Rule and some shorts. Now, this stars Therica Wilson Reed as. Kelly, she was in Profile, Tony, and Foxtrap. Clarissa Clayton as Liz. She was in Blood Money, For All, and a bunch of television. And Kate Lister as Valerie. She was in Slant, Drive Me to the End, and Curse of the Scarecrow which is also a Wild Eye film. Now, this movie won 13 awards. And it kind of breaks down like this. <clears throat> you have your main character, which is Liz, who is agoraphobic. And I mean agoraphobic big time. She has chains all over her door. It's, it's actually kind of a scary thing to see, somebody being that afraid of the outside world. She keeps her place very dark. And when somebody comes up to the, to the door in order to give her packages or food, she asks them if they could put it in the window on the side, which is the only thing she really has open. Now, she is, like I said, agoraphobic and very depressed and is thinking about killing herself. Apparently, I, from what I understand, she was like a computer programmer, so she could work from home. Now, she gets mixed up in this website called Suicide Club. And they're encouraging her to commit suicide, of course. It's a bunch of people online that I guess are supposed to give you emotional support if you really want to kill yourself. Well, that's kind of not how it ends up. <laughs> What you have is they start flashing messages on her computer that say kill or be killed. Nominate the next suicide. So basically, if you don't kill yourself, you have to pick somebody else from the website in order, or somebody at random in order to nominate for a suicide or what seems to be a suicide. And I'm going to leave it there. There's a lot more to this film, but I'm going to leave it there because I only want to give you a little taste of the film. Now, this is filmed extremely well. This is a UK film, and I can see why it won 13 awards. It is a very, very well-made film. I do have one gripe about the film, and that is the sound quality. A lot of the... Um, dialogue is a little undermixed so I had a hard time I had to put on the sound bar and kind of crank it up a little bit in order to hear it but this is definitely one that you should watch um, it's you can tell a higher budget was used I couldn't figure out what the budget was in this film but you could tell they really went above and beyond this was a a work or a passion work like most of the films that Wild Eye distributes, that's why I love them so much. But you could tell that they had a lot of passion behind this film. And that's why it won 13 awards. It is really done extremely well. Definitely check this one out. It's a good film. And another special thank you to Wild Eye for sending me this copy. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.